hello guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to make a bot set in c sharp so at first i am going to make a c sharp wind form project So at first I will make the form a bit smaller and add the button. I will call the first button load aimbot and the second button toggle aimbot. The load button will load the aimbot, scan it and swap the offsets and the toggle aimbot will aim, uh, make the turn aimbot on or off. So at first I have added my memory and now we'll uh, call it inside the form. As you can see I have called it. And now uh, I will make four dictionaries where I can store the data for the import like replace values and the original values. Okay. These will be all, uh, these will be used to uh, start make import toggle later. Now, now I will make an, a private async task, so I can call it inside the button later. Call name mod load. So at first I will make an process check. So if the AZ player process is running, we, we will get the process ID of the AZ player and use that. After that, we will use the process again from, but this time from the uh, system dog diagnostics. Now we will get the process by name, HC player. Now after getting the process, uh, which I made a mistake. Uh, I put it outside the try wire. My bad, guys. So, yeah, I will put copy this and put this here. Okay, it's fixed. So, if the target process is null, then it will like exit or return. Now, we will open that process and get the target process as ID. Now, we will clear these dictionaries. Uh, so, in case of a re injection, it doesn't keep the old values, it will clear them. Now we will make the scanning method from memory. I will make a I in a variable wrong. Scan result away name of scan. This will scan it. Scan the array of bytes. So in here I will add the array of bytes. This is an example array of bytes. Don't use this. I will include the array of bytes uh, in my Discord server, including the entire source of this aimbot. So if there are no addresses, then it will return. So using the base address, what is the base address? So like when it scans the aimbot or this AOB scan, it will return entity addresses. It will use these base addresses. After that, I will put both of the offset of make and heap. Note this is also example. The real offsets will be given later in my Discord. So if the original value one dot contains key of the neck, so in here we will read the memory. Then at first we will read the neck memory around 4 bytes so in here we will read 4 bytes of the uh, neck offset after that 
will do same for the hip hop sets. Now we will convert this to integer 32. So we will convert the byte 1 to integer 32 and do same for the byte 2 that is heap and neck. The by, uh, value, uh, so the value 1 is neck and the value 2 is a heap. Now we will set it so after the injection is done it saves the replace value of neck, neck and hip inside the dictionary will be created now we will swap the offset so again we will write the four bytes we got so this will write the neck to uh value 2 and the value 2 is hip we'll do same we will write the hip to value 1 that is neck So now we will in here con uh, do the same thing we did before. We will save this heap and uh, make values in the dictionary so we can later use it for toggle aimbot. Now, as you can see, it's done. Now we will add a catch at the end to fix error. As you can see, the error is gone. Now we will call it inside the button. At first, we will make it a sync, after that, call it. Now go to properties, build and prefer 32 bit off. I will start blue stack till it's starting. I will also can see it as so add a level, call it something easy to remember. Uh, like STA in here I will type the sta.txt tree process not found. If it's if that dot get task is not there, process not found. Do same for the other process check. In here, address not found if it doesn't give any scan values. Injection failed in case of any error. And in here, it will be inject injected. Uh, above the scanning, uh, in here, I will fix the report now. See, now it's done working code. I don't have training unlocked in this ID. I will real quick show it in CS. So our CS match has started. By the way, I have also already injected the input. Bro, that guy is running away so much I can't show the input. And yeah, embot is working as you can see. And so yeah, so the next round has started. So I will buy the other eagle to show you. Let me fix my settings real quick. Yeah. One down, two down. As you can see, the embot is fully working. As you can see, the aimbot is working really well. So yeah, now we will make the toggle aimbot logic since it's working really well. So yeah, we are back on the code. Now I will code the toggle aimbot logic.
so in here actually there was some errors i actually fixed them uh but the issue is the video got corrupted so it's okay you will actually uh get these parts like in the source so the download it from there really sorry the video was corrupted a bit here to so didn't show the rest of the thing so as you can see i have injected the import now so uh loaded it As you can see, it's fully working. Now I will turn my mod off. As you can see, it instantly turns off and on. It's a really simple method, but gets the job done.